Taser, 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 taser. Send like a 21, I got one running from me down the highway, dispatch. Uh, well, now you're going to jail. Hey. Ow. 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 Hands. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Why is there an ambulance involved in this chase? Tackle him. He did it. Put him into a pole. We got him. Send like a 21 rollover crash my location dispatch. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR on this really nasty, rainy, wet afternoon out here in Blaine County. We're headed out with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office uh, in this uh, awesome Ford Taurus. Um, the skins and the, uh, the... I forget who did the skins, but they're absolutely amazing. Uh, they go really well with the uh, with the uniform pack I'm using. The vehicles are the awesome Tickle My Elmo cars. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head out in the county today and see what's going on out here. That you freaking idiot. Anyway, yeah, just 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 pull right in front of me. It's fine, no big deal. I don't care. I don't want to get out in the rain anyway. So all right, we're gonna probably take some calls. We'll, we'll probably end up doing some traffic, even though I really don't want to get out in the rain. And we'll uh, we'll see what's going on. So let's go ahead and get started. Any unit near the Redwood Lights trap, we have a possible domestic disturbance yeah, we'll in take that. Harmony 10 Lincoln 21 for spawn code 3. Most definitely. We'll get down here and help Harmony PD out. They might not even have anybody on today, quite honestly. Let's go ahead and get down here and see what's going on. Okay. 10 Lincoln 21, you show me on scene dispatch. Copy that. I see our guy. All right, let's see what we got here. Kind of jog. There's two of them here. It's different. Okay, hey, what's going on, guys? Oh, okay. Uh, so what's this? What's your side of the story, man? Oh, okay, look, fine. Just clear off, and this will be over. Uh, no. So this isn't a mental. I thought I saw this was a mental disorder. This came out over the radio as a mental disorder, didn't it? Did I did I read that wrong? Come over here with me, man. Come here. Nice tattoo on your back, man. I like that. I think we have a. I think we have a thing for that. Hang on. No, we don't. We got rid of the niceties. That's right. That's okay though. All right, man. So look. Let me see your ID, man. You got your ID on you, buddy? Show me your ID. Thank you. I got four ten Lincoln twenty one. I'm okay. Dispatch. This is not a mental disorder. Roger. Start me a second unit. Start me a second unit. Assistance uh, needed ra range in, interfering uh, with the radios. Harmony. Okay, so, um, what's going on? Wait, what are you doing, man? We are en route. What's going about my day? How about you do the same? Why, well, I would if I hadn't been called out here for some kind of fight or something, man. What's, uh, what are you guys fighting about? They deserved it? Okay, well, I mean... I, I, I don't really understand, but okay. All right, dude, hang out right here. Let's talk to this guy. What's going on, man? What seems to be the problem today? I've asked my partner to leave, and they're refusing. Okay. Have they injured you in any way? No, they just won't leave. Please remove them. I fear for my safety. Okay. All right. Stay there. I need to get a do you live here question. All right, you got your ID on you, man? Show me your ID. Looks like a piece of paper. This is Eddie Smith. All right, Eddie. Um, all right. So why are you guys fighting? Because they, because they're pissed. I've been talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. That makes sense. So, all right, man. Well, do you want to press any kind of? You, you, you want to be trespassed? Okay. Well, we'll trespass them off the property then. All right, man. Hang out right here for me, okay? For Ken Lincoln Twenty One. I got a second unit out here, dispatch. You can cancel. Roger, 10, Lincoln, 21. Alright, I'm gonna go run their IDs real quick here. Let's see what we got. I got 4, 10, Lincoln, 21. Didn't I, just, didn't I just tell you to cancel dispatch? Roger that, 10, Lincoln, 21. Cancel checks. Cancel checks. You can cancel checks. Oh my god. I got 4K, Lincoln, I think I got 21. it that time. My God, dispatch. These, this rain is just killing the radios today. All right. So 
He's this is Johnny Elliott. He's got arrest for abuse of a corpse and attempt to commit some sort of misdemeanor for offense. That's disgusting. Um, and then uh, no warrants on him though. He's valid. No handgun permit. Eddie Smith is 44. He was what 52. Okay, so we got an adult relationship here. Uh, Eddie Smith has no kind of actual kind of actual charges. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna transport. Um, we're gonna transport the other guy out of here. All right. All right, man, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to leave. It's just that simple. Um, let's see here. Do you have anything illegal on you, man? Not answer any questions? Okay. Um, all right, well, listen, I'm going to go ahead and patch you down since I'm out here for a domestic. Uh, I do have the ability to do that. He doesn't have to consent since we have probable cause to be out here. Go ahead and turn around, man. I'm going to... Don't... Yeah, punch the air. Didn't have to go down this way, dude. You was going to get to leave today. Have another one. Give it up, man. That's really dumb, dude. Lay down, stupid. Lay down, stupid. Right on that cardboard box. 10 Lincoln 21. Show one in custody. Copy that. Alright. Hey, dude. Seriously? That was fucking stupid, man. Oink, oink, lard ass. Oink, oink. Oh, okay. Are you fucking stupid? I can taste the sun. You can taste the sun. Are you on fucking drugs? I'll fucking kill you. Oh, okay. So you want to put menacing on your rap sheet today. Okay, dude. Cool. Cool. We can do that. And, uh, I'm still going to pat you down. Turn the fuck around. That guy just watched all that like, my boyfriend. I don't think he cares, really. Box of matches, a SIG P320 with a scrap serial number and an FM Browning high press. This motherfucker had two guns on him. Dude, you had two motherfucking guns on you. Why did you... Jesus Christ, dude. So, all right. First of all, where'd you get this one with a scratch serial number? You bought it off a guy in Del Perro. Okay, well, it's illegal to have a firearm with a scratch serial number, so there's another charge for you. Uh, why are you carrying this gun for, man? Do you believe in the Second Amendment? I do. And as you know, I mean, you don't even have a permit, and you need to tell the police when you have a weapon on you. I mean, seriously, dude, it's private property. You know what? It's probably it might be private property, but no, I'm charging him anyway. I'm charging him anyway. Um, do you have a permit for these guns? Do you need one? Yeah, you need one, stupid. Do they belong to you? No. Well, yeah, he said he bought them enough. So, all right, all right. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see here. What was the other thing he had on him? He had something else. I already... Oh, no, it was just two... It was just two guns. That's all that mattered. All right, dude, come on. I'm gonna run him out here and put him in my car. I won't make the Harmony... The one Harmony cop on duty take him to jail. I'll take him myself. Have a seat. Dumbass. All right, let's go back and let old boy know what's going on. Okay, dude, listen. So he's going to jail. I think you kind of figured that out for yourself. But uh, here's the thing. Like, we're going to trespass him off the property since you told us you wouldn't trespass. That doesn't mean that in three days, if you change your mind and want to let him back out here, that's going to be okay. It means that he's trespassed off the property, and he's going to have to go through a process to get that lifted. So if we see him back out here again, he's going to jail, okay? So I want to make sure that you understand that. So do you understand what I'm explaining here? You don't. Okay, so let me use small words. If he comes back, he goes to jail, okay? That's really all I can tell you, man. Okay, have a nice day. All right, man, let's go. All right, so we're going to take dipshit to jail, and then uh, we'll get back on the road. Sure, why not? 10 Lincoln 21, I'll take that dispatch. All right, get to the scene and speak to the suspect. All right. Excuse me, Mr. Tractor, you're gonna let me turn around now. Just gonna go ahead and use our lights to get out there quickly. Do not enter, huh? No, I'm gonna do it anyway. I didn't know this. Oh yeah, right outside the yellow jacket. Big shock. All right, there he is right there. Hey, uh. 
Hey dude, you can stop and back me up, you know. Ten Lincoln 21, I'll be out with him, dispatch. Roger that, 10 Lincoln 21. By the way, he's not naked, dispatch. Hold up. I knew I should have taken this route. What are you doing out here, man? Come on, let's get out of the road. Come on, dude. Shut up. Let's get out of the road, man. Stand over here with me. Alright, man. You got your ID on you, buddy? Could you please show me your ID? Man. That's twice today. Let's go. Let's run. Come on. No, dude, you're going to get hurt. Dispatch, we have a Everything hurts more in the rain. Don't you know that? Get on the ground, stupid. You're done. You're done. Next one's a taser. I'm okay. I got one resisting. Backup required in uh, Grande Sonora Desert. Don't move, dude. Don't move, okay? You are under arrest. Well, I got him under control, man. You don't need a shotgun, dude. We good. We good, man. I got him. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for coming out, deputy. I appreciate it, man. I got him. What? Check up for ten, Lincoln twenty-one. Dispatch. I'm okay. Ten four. Copy that. You can cancel checks. 10 copy that. Okay, very good then. Let's just run him back to the car here. Come on, dude. I was super stupid, man, and I don't understand why you did it. Oh, there went the graphics a little bit. All right, man, that was super dumb, and I don't know why you did that, man. Why did you do that, dude? No reason. You ran off for no reason? Man, well, if that's the case, that's pretty fucking stupid. I'll sue you, you fucking pig. Okay, all right, cool. Go ahead and do that, man. It takes effort to be this stupid, doesn't it? Oink, oink, motherfucker. All right, that's cool, man. No problem. Cool, all right. Uh, let's see here. You got anything illegal on you, dude? Want to invoke your right to counsel? Okay, dude, well, you are under arrest for obstruction. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say you can and will be used against you in a court of law. All right to an attorney. You can't afford one to be appointed to by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights? Yes, yeah, so I don't represent myself in court. Okay. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Why me, dude? Of course, if, if, hold on. If you're invoking your right to counsel, but you want to represent yourself in court, does that mean you are willing to answer my questions? Uh, where is it? There it is. No. Okay. All right. That was a little confusing. You can understand my confusion, you being as uh, stupid as you are and all. Go ahead and uh, stand right there. I'm going to patch you down. We got a burnt marijuana bowl, suspected meth pipe, and several forged vehicle registration stickers. This is Tim uh, Kaufman. All right, Tim Kaufman. All right, man, what's uh? I mean, it's weed. It's not like I really give a shit, but uh, what's this bowl for, dude? I swear, I swear it ain't for drugs. If that's what you're thinking, I'm gonna do it. All right, cool, cool. What's this uh? The pipe too? Is that is is that also not for drugs? Okay, fuck. I Dunn did forgot the other thing he had on him again. This is driving nuts. This whole getting old thing sucks. Oh yeah, the vehicle registration stickers. Okay. Alright, well we don't really have a question for those, unfortunately. Alright, dude, come on. Also, I mean he was I'm gonna assume he was being disorderly out here and that's why the bar called, so. We're gonna go and charge him for that too. Alright man, I have a seat in my car. Test the meth pipe, see if it tests positive for residue. I imagine that it will. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the stuff in the trunk, okay. Uh, uh meth. LSPD! Pipe. Don't make me shoot ya! Uh, alright. A little different there. Alright, let's do the roadside test on it. Expected meth pipe. That would, that would be the marquee reagent. Cameras look sweet there. Alright, yep. Positive for methamphetamine. Very well then. Alright, well, that's gonna pretty much do it for him. Let's check his record. Love these computers, man. These look great. Uh, let's see here. Let's check his record. No record. He's 18, so. 
What if he was in the yellow jacket causing a problem and that's why they threw his ass out? I don't know how a dispatch got naked person out of this, but whatever. Um, okay. One thing I want to check then with him is, uh, hop out of the car, dude. Turn around here. Whoa, hello. Was he, uh, under the influence of anything? Let's see here. Let's observe him this way. No, he's not. Okay. All right, well, that's cool then. We'll get him uh, We'll get him to the jail, get him charged, and we'll get back out there. Uh, Dilettante had expired registration. Go ahead and get caught up with him. This is a red car right here. Oh, dude, you gonna stop? What's this guy doing, man? Whoa, whoa! Jesus, dude, what are you doing, man? There we go. Maybe he's gonna stop now. Probably. Yeah. You in front there, just go. Alright. I end up charging him with failure to yield. Good stop, though. Maybe. Almost. It, 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 it was a good stop. Dude, stop the fucking car. Alright. It was a good stop until it wasn't, I guess. Let's pull over there. Like, perfectly... Like, four perfectly good opportunities to stop there. So... 10 Lincoln 21. Show me on a stop. Copy that. Is backup needed? Yeah, go ahead and start me a second unit. Affirmative. Copy that. Backup needed. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we got here while we wait. It's a dilettante. Uh, Ocean George Charles seven one two four. We already knew the registration was expired. This is uh, Banco German. Banco German has a warrant. Of course she does. For aggravated riot, uh, she has a, she has felony charges in the past for F one trafficking and heroin and aggravated arson. I do not know how she is... She might not have gone to trial yet for this since it was uh, June of 19. Uh, aggravated arson. I don't know what the hell happened. Check up for Ken Lincoln 21. I'm okay. Ken 4, copy that. Alright, let's wait for our, our second unit to get on scene here. Queen 2, we are on our way. Alright, I love the inside of these cars. These, these cars look amazing. I think I do see a second person in the car, actually, so I'm glad we called for, uh, glad we called for a second unit. She's got a warrant. Let's see if we can get her out. Nope, only one person's car. Hey, how you doing? I'm, uh, Deputy Devin, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you have your ID on you, ma'am? Could you please show me your Driver ID? seems to be nervous and sweating. Okay. Thank you. So we do have a... Uh, right, this is Banco German. All right. Um, Ma'am, you know why I pulled you over? I want to state for the record I'm recording you. Okay, well, that's fine. We're recording you as well. Um, so that's not a problem at all. The reason I pulled you over... It's documents. Is uh, your registration has expired. You weren't aware of that? Okay, all right. Well, let me ask you something. Uh, where are you coming from today? You have the right not to answer? Sure, sure, absolutely. Where are you headed to? Going to your friend's house? Okay, is this and this is your vehicle, correct? Okay, it is your vehicle. It's registered. You're lying to me. Check up for Ken Lincoln 21. I'm okay. Roger. All right, go ahead and step out the vehicle for me, ma'am, if you don't mind. Even if you do, really. Thank you. I appreciate Stay that. Stay there. Stay there. Now go ahead and turn around. Put your hands on your back for me. Now. You're under arrest for. Okay, good. I thought I thought she's about to run. You're under arrest for. Uh, you have an outstanding warrant. 10 Lincoln 21, show one in custody. Copy that. Start me a female officer. Damn radio reception, man. Start me a female officer. Backup needed on right, um, Route 68. And you can cancel checks. Roger. Alright, good. There we go. Y'all should have worn your raincoats today. Alright. We got, a, we got the Explorer and a Tahoe out here. 
Alright, cool. Whoops. Uh, I'm gonna wait till she gets here. Cause, okay. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and... No, I don't... I, I, I don't guess I can. Because if I release him, he'll do stupid shit. Oh, well, whatever. Um, let's see here. Alright, so were you aware that there was a warrant for your arrest? No, how is that possible? You probably didn't show up to court or something. It's for aggravated riot, and I would love to know the, uh, I would love to know the circumstances behind that one. Do you have anything illegal on you? You don't? Okay. Alright, I appreciate you cooperating with me. If you cooperate with me, I can work with you, okay? Uh, what am I gonna find when, oops. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, anything illegal in the vehicle you want to tell me about? There might be some pills in there? Okay, alright. Let's go ahead and just pat her down. Somebody want to go ahead and pat her down for me? Oh yeah, the male's gonna do it. That's alright. I really couldn't dismiss him without him, like, driving into my car and stuff, so I just figured, hell, why not? Alright, so she's got a uh, pocket digital camera, a bit of wrapped tin foil containing less than a gram of white powder, a piece of uh, Epsilon program literature, and a bottle of ibuprofen. So you lied to me. Why did you lie to me? I don't really appreciate that. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Well, I don't believe you because you lied to me. So, what's this, uh, what's this white powder on you? Guy bought it, guy you bought it from said it was coke? Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and, uh, alright, well you're now under arrest for possession of, uh, felony narcotics as well. Assuming it tests to, uh, be, you know, cocaine, which I mean it probably is, and I, I think I can charge her with it. Because she believes it's cocaine. I, I believe that's how that works. But we'll test it no matter what. We'll charge her. Wow. Plants doing weird stuff. Okay. Before we do that, I'm gonna... Yeah, the graphics are starting to go just a little bit. Not too bad. It's the rain, I'm telling you. Alright, let's go ahead and search the vehicle here. It is just pissing down rain out here. Okay, so she's got a suspected cracked pipe, an open envelope, and a threatening letter to the U.S. President. Bloodstained rags, rag and several pairs of fishnet stockings. So a crack pipe, a threatening letter to the Prez, and a bloodstained rag. Okay. Alright. Let's ask her a couple questions here. So, a couple questions for you, if you want to answer. Um, what's that pipe in the car for? No, you don't have to answer it. You don't have to answer it. And then, uh, one other question. I saw the, uh, the letter sitting in there. Um... What's the story with that? What's this? Where is it? I know we have one. Yeah, what's the story with this threatening letter to the president? It's an itemized list of 20 years worth of grievances. Oh, okay there, Hamilton. No problem. Um, okay. So, yeah. Okay, we can actually charge her for that. That's great. Uh, so let's test the crack pipe and then also the tan powder, which we believe is probably cocaine. So that kind of all just uh, reasonably follows. Yeah, just just walk right into it. Some white Stop! Police! powder and a crack pipe. I don't know why I've been. I don't know why I'm yelling every time I do that. There must be a key bind I'm unaware of. Okay, so let's test them both here. All right, so we got some white powder. Test that with the Scott reagent first. Guy lied to her. Let's see if it's heroin. Methamphetamine. Hmm. Okay then. And in a crack pipe, we'll give it a Scott reagent. She got a meth pipe. I think she had a meth pipe on her, didn't she? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she had a meth pipe, crack pipe. Uh. No, wait. Someone else had the meth pipe. She didn't have the meth pipe. I think that was our last guy. I don't remember. I thought I saw a meth pipe recently. I'll check. But anyway, yeah, so well. Plenty of charges for her. We're going to go ahead and get all those taken care of, and I think that's going to just about do it for this episode. So we'll head in and do the court thing. All right, so it's going to be the end of our shift, and you can see the rain's, of course, starting to taper off because we're almost done. But we do want to go ahead and do the court thing. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we have three. Yeah, we have three. Uh, Johnny Elliott was our first guy. Uh, we ended up dealing with him out at the trailer park at Harmony, uh, out to assist Harmony Police. Um, I ended up charging him with disorderly conduct since, and I, I, I went with the M4 because that's for him, uh, re uh, refusing to stop his disorderly behavior, and since he refused to leave, I just kind of figured that that covered. Aggravated menacing for, uh, threatening to kill us, 
criminal trespassing. Um, that's going to serve as his trespass warning. Um, obstruction of official business for running from us. Possession of a defaced firearm for the scratched uh, weapon he had on him. And then uh, two felony four carrying a concealed firearm since it wasn't technically his private property. He's going to do three years and two months. So I'm good with that. That's pretty good for uh, it's pretty good for a domestic. Uh, Tim Kaufman. We ended up uh, dealing with him outside the yellow jacket. I think he was uh, underage trying to get in there and drink. They probably threw him out and he was causing a scene. So we charged him with minor misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Um, Failed to disclose personal information, so we asked for his ID and he took off running. Obstruction for same. Aggravated possession of drugs for uh, meth. It was the meth pipe. He's the one who had the meth pipe. Um, possession of drug abuse instruments for the meth pipe. Possession of criminal tools uh, for the, I think, the registration stickers. And then he also had a marijuana bowl. So that's where the two drug abuse, drug abuse instruments comes from. He's doing one year and eight months, uh, $93 for being disorderly. So, yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, and then lastly, we had uh, Banco German. She had a warrant for um, – oh, I forgot to charge her for a warrant. Oh, well, whatever. They'll take care of it. Um, but aggravated possession of drugs. Let me just see something real quick. Oh, she's still here. Good. Go ahead and do that. Um, it was aggravated riot. I can't remember if that is uh, – I can't remember if that's, um, I think it's this one. Let's get down here and see. Lots of charges in here. Aggravated riot, there it is. There you go. So anyway, um, aggravated possession of drugs for the, um, for the methamphetamine. Uh, possession of crack cocaine under five grams for the residue in the crack pipe. Uh, possession of drug abuse instruments for the crack pipe. And then threats against the president as a federal charge. And she's going to do three years and seven months for that. She got three years for the threatening letter against the president. I did not charge her with aggravated menacing simply because I feel like the threats against the president charge will take care of it just fine. Uh, and then in addition to that, she had a warrant for aggravated riot, and she will serve another one year and five months on top of that. So what was that? One year and five months, and then three years and seven months, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that literally just makes it um, another two years. So that's uh, three... It's five years, so she's gonna do five years. So, five years of her life gone for writing a sh uh, for writing a shitty letter. Who the hell was that? Hang on. Oh, it's the blue highway patrol vehicle. Okay, I thought it was my TSA vehicle for a second. I got confused. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. We're gonna do the the first person viewing because I love it. Um, looking forward to reading you guys' comments down there in the uh, in the description. Always love talking to you guys on Discord. Uh, hope you guys really enjoyed the episode. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm so glad we're off duty. Y'all stay safe out there.